that the Arabic. Arabic then you is when now you come to the local language. Why? Why is doing that? Very good. It's very simple. Yes. The question. Uh, thank you very much for your beautiful question. It's it's been common, and it's a question that everywhere we go, people ask because they, sometimes they don't understand the Arabic language. Firstly. Let me say we are used. It's like when I'm Tumbuka, mm -hmm. you find even my tongue as that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You, I cannot speak Bemba fluently until I will bring in me in, in something Tumbuka or Tumbuka. <laughs> we are used. And then the other thing, most important thing is the Quran is originally in Arabic. The Quran is originally in Arabic. And when we change it to another language, there is likelihood that the original meaning changes. I'll give you an example. I'm, I'm a teacher, and perhaps you have been a teacher. If I was to give a sentence in English language and ask a pupil to say, can you translate in your language? And we ask three or four people, you find that even the meaning will be not the original meaning. So we try by all means to stick to the original meaning of the Quran. There are not supposed to be changes in the meaning. That's why you discover when I, I was even explaining when I produced the verses from the Quran, said the meaning of it. Because what has made a lot of scriptures change is the translations. So with translations, there is change. In any book, in any book, you can even take it yourselves, in any book. If you want to get me wrong, you can even bring English language Bible, then you bring in Bemba, you bring in Nyanja, Tumbuka, and you read them if you are fluent in the lang those languages, you discover that there will be distortion in the meaning at the end of it all. So because of that, we would like to stick to the original meaning. And more so, it's a privilege with us. <laughs>